We live in one of the most beautiful, privileged, and modern societies here in BC. Still, people go hungry. BC food banks feed over 70,000 people each month, and very few of them receive government funding. They rely on help from the public in the fight against hunger. But well, we at Shaw are joining in that fight across Metro Vancouver and beyond. Thank you. Thanks, Shaw employees have partnered with the communities they serve to donate almost a million pounds of food for food banks across Canada. It's this spirit of togetherness that has made this so amazing. What I can give back is probably not a lot, but what all of us can give back is enough to be substantial and make a difference. It's going to show the power of coming together. And when you come as a group, individually you can make a difference, but as a group you can make one hell of a difference. We've proven through our work with the food banks that together is amazing, that together we can make a difference. And in BC, the need is truly great. 37% of food bank users in BC are under the age of 18. And for kids, nutrition is particularly important. The Surrey Food Bank is acutely aware of this, and that's why they've started the Tiny Bundles program. You're gonna okay. go without shoes. Hold this. <laughs> it's another busy day for Maria Hernandez. Let's go. She and her neighbor Nikki are off to the food bank for their weekly hamper, plus their tiny bundles package from the Surrey Food Bank. When you come, you receive your normal hamper as well as all of the nutrition that you need for your little one. If you're nursing or you're pregnant, we'll give you milk and eggs as well as your other hamper items. If you are not nursing and your baby needs formula, you'll get a full supply, a full week of formula for your little one. You get formula, diapers, food, cereal, uh, wipes, bread. And on like, well I'm on income assistance now, it's just you can't afford that week to week because you do one big grocery shop and you don't know if it's going to last. Tiny Bundles helps between 130 and 180 babies and their families at any given time. Families with newborns get a gift pack when they start the program and continued support until baby turns one. Lots of mothers that they they don't, we don't have that enough support and we don't have the school or whatever, you know, and so it is very good. It's a really, really good program. I come every week. I never miss it. And while they are supported by food bank donors, Tiny Bundles is an expensive program. We're spending about $120,000 a year just to make sure that we always have formula on our shelf. It's been proven that if a child doesn't receive the adequate nutrition that they need, they will grow up, have difficulty learning in school, they'll be compromised with health issues, growth may be stunted. We don't think of, of feeding babies, we think of starting life and starting it the right way. I think that's um, carrots, carrots peas. peas, garden <laughs> vegetables. See, this is what I do. I just pack it. I have formula everywhere. The Greater Vancouver Food Bank helps people directly through its depots, but it also connects organizations that have extra food to groups that make meals in the downtown east side. And this can be particularly important, especially to people, many of whom don't even have access to kitchens. It's another day of work for Roger Walton, but he's more than just a driver. He's delivering hope. It's just a good feeling. Um, but as I say, I feel like I'm just a small cog in a big, in a big wheel. Roger is a driver for the Greater Vancouver Food Bank's Community Angels Food Runner program. Five days a week, he picks up over a thousand pounds in food donations from coffee shops, corner stores, and grocery chains, and delivers them to meal providing agencies, mostly on the downtown east side. I really do uh, enjoy it. I feel as though, you know, that, that I want to get up and, and in the morning, and I do get a lot of satisfaction from it, job satisfaction. And especially at the end of the day when you do see people, you can obviously, they appreciate, appreciate what you're doing. 
because it's all fresh food, it's then distributed straight away to the various agencies, uh, a lot of which are down in, in downtown Eastside. One of those agencies is Mission Possible. Vancouver Food Bank is absolutely essential and the Food Runners delivers food to our uh, location uh, twice a week that enables us to serve meals to hundreds of people. Some of these drivers are pretty good. They go that extra step, you know, help me out. And without them, I, I couldn't do my job. It allows us to serve balanced meals, uh, allows us to serve meals that taste good, and it makes a huge difference when you're eating in a, eating in a lineup or, or uh, in the downtown east side. So. I've heard, you know, comments, you are really angels. I don't know about that so much, you know, <laughs> as regards the angel bit, but uh, um, certainly uh, it's very favourable. Single-parent households account for about a quarter of all food bank clients here in BC. Next, we're meeting a young Burnaby mom who isn't afraid or ashamed to ask for help, especially when it's for the good of her children. Come here. Well, I get up pretty early because Avery gets up earlier than everybody else. And then get them dressed and give them breakfast and have a coffee. Try and get them dressed anyway. <laughs> if I, when I can catch them, I get them dressed. It's the beginning of another day at Heather Mackay's house. You guys hungry? Want some breakfast? Probably some life cereal, because Ian loves his life cereal. And the twins actually really like it too. Avery's like good with a spoon. Yeah. So it's pretty cute. Heather has been a food bank client on and off since she was a child. Now, as a single parent with her own brood, she relies on the food bank for the basics. Sometimes I find myself struggling, but I mean, it's usually more in a moment than like a big chunk of time. And I was still buying my own stuff, but just the, the top up that I would get from the food bank would really make a huge difference, so. Even though she works two to three days a week as a landscaper, she needs extra help. And it's something that she's not ashamed to ask for. I wasn't really using it once I was like on my feet myself, but like my kids, like when I had kids, I needed the formula and the diapers. It's like amazing. I have to go because if I don't go, then there could be a time when I wouldn't have bus fare or I wouldn't have, you know, other things they need. Like they need to eat meat and they need to eat fresh fruits and vegetables and like stuff like that is really important for babies, right? Mm. Can I have that? Yeah. Pretty hectic. I get tired, yeah, for sure, but I, I think I've gotten a bit used to it. Here you go. People volunteer with the food bank to feel connected to something bigger. That's why they keep coming back year after year. Like the woman in this next story. She's been volunteering with the Richmond Food Bank for over 25 years. It's another busy day at the Richmond Food Bank and Weimar is busy putting together healthy snack packs for school-aged kids. Well, I hear that when they get them, they open the bag right away sometimes. Vi has been a food bank volunteer since 1983, when she retired from her job as a registered nurse. I felt I'd like to do, keep on doing something to keep active, for one thing. And then I felt that uh, this helped because the food bank has just started. And the need for the food bank in Richmond has grown. It now serves about 1,500 people a week, something that wouldn't be possible without people like Vi. Volunteers are critical. We have about 125 regular volunteers. That's people who come in every week for a day or two days, or two half days. Uh, many of our volunteers are seniors. Many have disabilities. Vi comes in about once a week. She's a busy woman. At 86, she volunteers three to four days a week for the food bank and other community groups in Richmond. It's good to keep active. Otherwise, if you just think of your own health and think of your own illnesses, you vegetate. She was a teaching nurse, so she's, she's got the, I think she has the teacher's genes, you know, and so she really enjoys being able to uh, help people. I describe her as an extraordinary person. Uh, she's in her late 80s, I believe, and she's been volunteering here for many, many years. She never, never talks about her health, never, never down. She's always, you know, happy, you know, glad to be here. 
just an extraordinary person. The Richmond Food Bank couldn't exist without the help of the volunteers. The work they do is essential for us to be able to perform our service. You're watching A Hand Up on Shaw TV. After the break, we'll visit the Abbotsford Food Bank to see their dental clinic and we'll meet a band teaching kids about the importance of giving.